Hi, this is Natalie from Line.Arrow from the Netherlands and I'm here to work on a book. I'm going to make a new, not on a book, I'm, I'm working on a book but I'm going to make a new journal out of it. Uh, I did make some sort of frame and I did stitch around and I am working on this to make it into a freebie because this is really fun working with. I have to cut off a little bit of the thread. Um, so yeah. I made in a book I made a book frame myself and I did some messy stitching and inking and uh some of the gilding wax but I want to try to put it on the cover of this book so um yeah and this is the book I have chosen for this uh journal not sure if I'm going to completely cover it I really don't know, but I will start off using the Bella Blue Kit uh, because, well, I like it. And of course, there will be other pieces inside, not only from the Bella Blue Kit, because I have other items already made with previous new uh, Ephemera kits or other kits, and I will put them in too, and I will make sure it all flows together. But um, I would like to start working on the outside and I'm not sure if I'm going to use one of the pages. I really don't have a plan. I never have. It's kind of my problem. I did cut out all the items already so maybe this page I like this one too oh I like this one too and I like this one too and guess what I like this one too <laughs> let me see because it has to fit with the frame I want to do something with this frame not so much you can do something like this but it's pretty plain. I think this can be in the frame. Yeah. So this will be can be an option. And then I was seeing this peacock. But it's not fitting in the frame. And that's a waste of the peacock. Maybe I can squeeze in one of the ephemera pieces. And check. I can make a collage behind the frame. That's an option too. Now it's getting difficult. Let me see. I have some of these journaling cards in a bigger size. They wouldn't fit the paper because they were a little bit too big and then they fall off. And maybe it's big enough to I think I like this one better. Oh I don't know. Or the peacock. This can fit. It's very 
not so much blue. And I wanted more blue on the front. Oh, oh. What am I going to do? I have this. I know what I'm going to do. I really like this paper. And I do want to put it on the front. Put this in the frame. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put away all these pages. I'm really looking forward to using this book and add little pieces um, bit by bit and then start building the journal um, yes. is this enough? fold it in half So I have my ruler and I want to rip these pages, these pages, uh, because I don't want them to be straight and clean. Oh, this is not going to work. see something like this see if it fits So I can glue this in. Um, yes, I have um, a really weird weekend. It's our last holiday weekend, and we would we were planning to go to. Um, Maastricht, but yeah, that's not possible because of the our flooding is going on, so we're not going over there. Probably put too much glue on, but yeah, it's okay. on here but yes we are not going to Maastricht because there's so much rain and the rivers are flooding and houses are underwater and it's a very bad situation not only in Holland also in Belgium and in Germany so our trip is cancelled uh, but we can go next month. I could arrange to finally um, book a, book another date. So that's okay. At first we couldn't, but later they, they told us yes. Because I was calling, well, I, I'm coming today. And they said, no, no. There's too much water going on. But if I would say I'm not coming because of the water, then they would say, yeah, you have to come. Because this is, this is not a reason to cancel. I don't know why. They told me this the first time. But I think they changed their mind. Which is a good thing. Um,
so my weekend is very strange but um well it's also a good thing we couldn't go because our kitty cat was getting ill again so we had to go to the vet today and he has a lot of uh, problems with his bladder and I have to clean up the, the, the litter multiple times today he's not feeling great he, he, he will be better uh, he has meds now and he will be okay but well, I don't like it when he's sick but it's a good thing we are at home because if we weren't my son would be with him and I think he wouldn't notice it Because he's not he's not showing it in his behavior, but he's you know you can smell it in his in the litter and the way it's spread all over the the area. At least I know by now. So yeah, I think this is too close. Yes. Um, now that I have this, I, I do like this, but. I'm also thinking to put something behind <laughs> and I, I didn't want to do all that this layering again I wanted to do something more simple but also pretty and here I go again thinking about putting something behind okay let me check what I have so I grabbed a few things some striped blue fabric some cheesecloth I also have this fabric and I have two doilies and I also was thinking about doing this not sure if I'm going to um, yeah maybe I can use this fabric let me grab it to cover up the whole journal I'm just putting it in like this just to see how it would look like this is really pretty do I also want to add little pieces of this I'm going to put this aside, but maybe I will add it. I'm not sure. I really do like it. Um, I can also put in a stripe pattern behind the frame. I can even make this into an oval too. But I well no, I'm going to yes, I'm going to use the fabric. I really like the fabric. Yeah. Okay. Or let me see. What other options I have if I don't use the fabric but do something like this and put on a doily and do this I'm thinking I'm going to do this I'm not using the fabric so for those of you who like the fabric not going to use it this time. Sorry. Um, I'm going to rip out the pages off camera. And when I did that, um, you will see me again. And then we're going to work on the cover. So, I ripped out the pages. It literally took me a few minutes. It's very easy to do. Once you know your way. Um, and I'm going to glue on the cheesecloth well first I'm going to cut it of course and um, yeah 
the journal uh, will be filled with little bits and pieces from other kits that I have made already or will make in the future and I will try to include those bits and pieces into the journal I did this before uh, for my I think it was 200 subbies I'm not sure um, I did a treasures of nature journal and this time I'm going to make a blue one I'm probably doing this not the easiest way but I'm going to cut the cheesecloth to size when I'm done. Maybe I should put a glue stick underneath. Maybe I can do that anyway. Where's the glue stick? I'm going to do it. I'm sure it's everywhere. So. And I'm going to wrinkle it a little bit. So we got this and yeah. I want to put this on first I think about this this is very fragile but I want to try if I cut this piece off and this piece sorry it's my alarm I need I have to go to bed which I'm not doing maybe this can yeah I'm going to try I'm not sure if you can see but this is just some branch I bought in the store I used it uh, one time before in a tag behind a window but I want to try and sew this in here, in the inside of the frame. And I also want to sew around the edges. So I'm going to do that and then I will be back. So I did sew on the branch. It's here and I left the threads on because I maybe want to put on little um, beads. And if I don't do it, I can always cut them off. Um, I had a doily, not this one but the other one, but I already started cutting it in half and then I realized, well, I have to put on the camera and I'm still not sure if I'm going to make this also in an oval, I'm not sure. Um, trying things out now to decide what to do. like this maybe yeah just 
things here. And maybe something down below too. Yeah, liking this. So I'm going to sew this on, not on the cover, but the lace onto the paper, and then I'm going to glue it onto the cover. So, okay, I did sew on the doily, but what I want to do too is add some of this evergreen bow, I think it's called, from Tim Holtz Ranger. Um, little bit of the blue onto the papers. And I want to put something over here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that now. Let me see. Here's the cover. I really like how this turned out. But you don't see it. That's that's the waste of it. I think I'm going to put some lace over here and put this more to the right. Let me grab something to put over here. So I collected some trims. Um, I found this one too and I was popping it under. But, well, maybe it's too much. I don't know. Let's see what we got. Um, I have also dark blue. I was looking for something on this side and now I'm working on the right side. So here I go again, me and my layering. This does look cute. Um, I like this too. But maybe it's too pale. Maybe I can put it on this side. I don't know. Some white on top. It's really terrible. I'm doing it again. Well, it's not really terrible because I do like it. Does it need to go like this? No, I think I need to sew it on top. So this will be okay. Like this. Put this out of the way. Let me see how I'm going to... I think I can glue this one on. Okay, I have the white stuff. I'm not sure I like the white, although it, it goes very well with the thread. It's white too. I think I'm, I will glue it on. Now I have to figure out what I'm going to do on this side. I also have very light blue. I don't 
sink. It's showing on the underneath. No, this is too small. Also some green. Nope. 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 Maybe this. First, I'm going to glue this on. This I want over here. A little bit to the right. And how much is this picking out isn't this too much maybe I have to turn it <laughs> let me check I'm going to glue it and just see where it ends This one like this. And, well, the, the funny thing is, I'm making the cover now, but I was planning not to make the cover, but make the insert, the pages first, and then at the end make the cover. But I really wanted to make the cover today. And I wanted to make it simple, but, well, I'm not making it simple. I'm doing all layering again, but yeah, it's really fun to see all those pretty laces coming out. No. This. Not sure. Let me first glue this and then cut off. I do it the other way around, I know. Wow. No, 
can't use this piece. Not sure if you can see, there's so many stuff items, there's so many items on my desk. But I think, I think I will put this here. This way, this way, no, this way. And then I can, sorry, I had a glue cap in my mouth. And then I can glue on this. To check. Oh, I do really like this. Yeah, this is pretty. Good glue it on. Try and glue this with the glossy accents if it's coming out. Okay. I also had a piece for the back side. I don't know where I left it. Oh, here. Yeah. And I have to do some layering on this side too, I think. But for now, I'm going to stop. I'm going to leave it like this. So we got this. Um, let me put something inside so the book cover stays up. So we have this and I do want to add some beads on here and I really like the frame and like I said I made um, I designed this frame myself uh, it's this one I'm gonna grab it this one but I did add some of the ink distress ink blue and I also added some um, gilding wax and I made another one but it's too big to put on a book cover I think I have to make it smaller but these two will be in my Facebook group uh, maybe when I upload the video or uh, a little bit later I'm not sure we'll see how far I get um, to glue this piece down. This is it for today. Um, I hope you liked it. Um, I'm going to work on this cover uh, the next days the next week i'm not sure when i do the next part i also have to make another journal for somebody else and well i have to start working again next week so and i will be very busy with my work um but i hope i will continue next week making the cover and then adding pieces to this journal and hopefully i will have it finished when i have my one thousand subbies or I have time to finish it maybe that's the question but I think I have time to finish it because my channel is growing so thank you everybody for um, subscribing to my channel uh, especially thanks to Rachel who did a shout out on her Facebook group and had a surprise giveaway uh, if you sub it to my channel she would 
give away I think two of her digital kits which is very sweet to do um, so yeah and I gained some subbies already so thank you very much uh, from Rachel's um, Facebook group and all the other ones who subscribe to my channel also thank you very much for supporting me and if you like the video give it a thumbs up maybe you are not a subby already and want to subscribe make sure you hit the bell uh, so when you, I upload new videos you will be notified I do a lot of giveaways I have uh, winner drawings from challenges so and yeah I also have a Facebook page Facebook group maybe you want to check that one out or become a member um, Leave a comment if you have some questions or want something to do. Uh, you want me to do something on YouTube like a tutorial you want to see or you need more explaining about. Leave a comment. I will try what I can do to make it um, possible. Um, this is it for today. Like I said, thank you again for watching, for supporting me. Hope you all have a very good weekend. Stay safe, stay creative. Greetings from the Netherlands. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.